Hunters, today I'm so excited to share with you one of my favorite stories. Don't forget to be thinking about our essential question. How does kindness affect others? Beauty and the Beast by Madame Gabrielle Suzanne Barbeau de Villeneuve, retold by Kate Bernard, illustrated by Kale Atkinson. Once upon a time, there lived a poor merchant with three lovely daughters. The youngest was so lovely, she was called Beauty. The poor family had once been rich. However, now all they had was a small farm in the country. One day, the merchant's ship sailed into a port filled with riches. As the merchant left to meet his ship, his oldest daughters asked him to bring back jewels. Beauty asked only for a rose. After paying his debts, though, the merchant was poor once again. He started home sadly. As night fell, he lost his way in the forest. After a while, he saw lights shining through the trees. The merchant hurried closer, hoping to find help. He saw a magnificent castle surrounded by a beautiful garden. As he approached the castle, no one greeted him. When he entered the castle, he saw no one and heard not a sound. The merchant sat down in front of an inviting fire where a delicious dinner had been prepared. He hoped that he could soon thank his kind host, but nobody appeared. He neither saw nor heard any sign of life in the entire castle. Finally, he wandered through the castle and into a lovely garden. He remembered Beauty's request and picked a rose to take home to her. Just then, he heard a terrible roar. A frightful beast rushed towards him. The beast was furious. The terrified merchant threw himself on his knees. He begged for mercy. I meant no harm. I took the rose for one of my daughters. Please forgive me, he cried. You must pay for stealing my rose after I paid you such kindness, roared Beast. Go home and bring me one of your daughters as payment for the rose. If they refuse, then you must return and be my prisoner. The pale and shaking merchant returned home and told his frightful tale. The oldest daughter said he should not return. Beauty responded sadly, This beast deserves payment. You picked the rose for me, father. I will go. Her father protested, but Beauty insisted. Beauty said goodbye to her sisters. Then she and her father bravely mounted their horses. Soon they reached the castle. Beast greeted them with a loud roar. Beauty felt certain that he would not harm her. She tried to hide her fear and greeted him politely. Did you come willingly? asked Beast in his terrible voice. Yes, answered Beauty. You are very kind and brave, said Beast. Your father must leave and never come back. Beauty wept as her father left that night. Bravely, she tried not to worry. I'll explore the castle, she thought. Beauty found each room more brilliant than the last, until finally she came to a large door. She opened the door timidly. Inside, 
She saw shelves of books, a piano, music, and everything else she could wish for. That night at supper, Beast explained gruffly, Everything in the castle is yours. I hope you will be happy here. I am only a lonely, miserable beast. Months passed, and Beauty had everything she needed. Beast turned out to be very kind. Beauty became used to his ugliness and began to like him. Beauty, said Beast one evening, I could not bear it if you ever left me. Please promise never to leave. However, Beauty was homesick. She longed to see her father again. Please let me return home for one week, responded Beauty. We are good friends now, Beast. I promise to return, she begged. I cannot let you suffer, sighed Beast. Please return as you promised. Take this ring. When you are ready to return, you need only turn it on your finger. Beast sighed deeply. The next morning, Beauty awoke in her father's house. How happy the merchant was to see his daughter. He hugged and kissed her as he laughed and cried for joy. Beauty's jealous sisters were not at all happy to see her. They plotted to steal her ring so that Beauty could not return to her friend the Beast. Perhaps if she does not return, the beast will be angry with her, they thought. Their plan worked. Beauty stayed longer than a week and broke her promise to Beast. On the tenth night, Beauty dreamed of Beast. He lay in his garden, full of despair. Oh, my poor Beast, she cried. He has a good and kind heart. I cannot leave him there lonely and sad. That night, Beauty retrieved the ring her sisters had stolen from her. She turned it on her finger and was transported back to the castle. Beauty ran to the garden. There lay Beast, quite still. Beauty had forgotten his ugliness and bent over him. Beast, do not be upset, cried Beauty. I never knew how much I loved you until now. I cannot live without you, dear Beast. As Beauty spoke these words, a blaze of light sprang up, illuminating the whole castle. The Beast disappeared. A handsome prince stood in his place. Where is my beast? gasped Beauty. I am he, answered the prince. I was changed into a beast. Only someone who could love me for my kindness could change me back. Please, Beauty, be my wife. Beauty and the prince married, and they lived happily ever after.